posted a video, I'm done, I said everything I had to say, I feel complete in my own personal realization and also in my expression of my different insights and experiences. Of course, there's always more stories I could tell, always more scriptures I could analyze, you know, but the series that I have done follow a very predictable path. The first three or four videos, when I start a new series, get a lot of views. And then gradually they get less and less and less and <laughs> until finally they're like 20 or 30 views, you know, the first day. And people aren't following. People aren't getting it. I don't hear in the comments the terminology that we use or the concepts that we use with a few rare and very much appreciated exceptions. So I've got to the point of where I feel like it's diminishing returns. You know, we have over 800 videos now, uh, close to 80 different playlists and series. And I just feel like, you know, personally, I'm very satisfied with my spiritual state. I've attained things that I, I never dared to even imagine I would attain in this lifetime. And so I feel very happy for myself. But I also feel a lack of motivation because I'm not getting the kind of feedback, not getting the kind of response that I need to stay excited about this channel. You know, I said in that I'm done here video, uh, I said, please make comments with good questions that lead the discussion onward, you know. And I got a bunch of off topic comments, people talking about their own personal stuff. And I don't know, just a mishmash of like, irrelevant stuff, you know, most of which I deleted because it was off topic. I wanted comments that ask searching questions that that stimulate and challenge me. I, I didn't see that. So I feel like, well, if you guys don't care, you know, why should I care? That's really the way I feel about it. If after eight years of doing this channel, and it works out to about a video every three days, you know, every third day or so, you know, why should I keep up doing all this effort and people aren't getting it? They're not responding. Well, so now we have our first paid course coming up in just a few days, the Matrix Learning Course. Maybe once these people go through the course, it'll change something. I don't know, you know. Maybe <laughs> if I just leave this channel here accessible to everyone, one of these days some people will come along that actually get it and inspire me to continue. But I don't know, you know. It's like I tried uh, to present the best teachings I know of direct from the authentic scriptures. And like I said, I just kept seeing less and less and less and less views. And so then I start another one and the same thing happens. And this is going on for years now. So, you know, uh, none of the videos here have really gone viral. Well, except for one. There's some obscure video that I did about two years ago, maybe even more than that now. 
about wearing the Tripundra. And I guess some popular blog, a Hindi uh, blog, linked to it. And now I'm getting like 100 views a day sometimes <laughs> on this one video. You know, but people only watch two minutes. They're just curious to see, you know, who is this American guy wearing Tripundra? See, people like that aren't sincere. They aren't really students. They're not really trying to mine the gems that are in this channel. So they don't really get the benefit that they could get out of it. So I'm like, you know, if people don't appreciate this work, why should I continue? And it's not like I'm doing it for money. And I don't really care about fame. Fame is a burden, I'll tell you. And really what I'm doing it for is I'm, I'm doing it out of compassion. But if nobody is listening, if nobody's really getting it, I'm wasting my time. I could be out on the streets distributing food and have a better experience of compassion than making videos for people who don't care. You know, so I think I'm just going to leave it. You know, I'm going to leave it at that. We've already got so many videos, so many series, so many topics, so many explanations of deep subjects that should provoke deep questions. You know, if so and so, you know, the scriptures say this and that and the other thing, then why blah, 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 you know, those kind of questions. I don't get those kind of questions. You can look back over the comments. Oh, except I turned most of them off. Because <laughs> I'm so tired of it, you know. I'm just tired of shallow comments that don't really push the discussion onward. You know, when the, when, when the Upanishads say, come close, sit down and listen. Well, part of listening is making cogent inquiries that stimulate the teacher, that encourage the teacher to give more knowledge, to reveal more deeper secrets, right? And there always are. In fact, a really good question from a student can lead to the teacher having a new realization. And of course, he's going to immediately share that. But that hasn't happened here. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to present that will get you guys going, you know. I don't know what to, how to bridge uh, this gap, communication gap that I feel between us. So I'm just going to drop it for a while. I'm just going to let it go and see if anybody turns up who really appreciates this knowledge. I'm going to turn the comments back on in case they wind up in some obscure video we did years ago. But I'm also going to moderate the comments and delete any that are off topic or just plain useless comments, you know. Because I want this channel to be a shining example of a real vibrant spiritual community. You know, but the people that haven't showed up or if they have showed up, they're being very quiet. I don't know why. You know, it's not like I bite or anything. Arr. And I only growl a little. <laughs> so anyway, you know that story, right? The story of the snake. Once there was a wise man going through a village and all the people of the village said, please, saint, guru, whatever, help us. We have this one snake who is terrorizing everybody in the village. And he keeps biting the children and it's very nasty. So the saint said, I'll see what I can do. So he went out in the field where the snake lived and he used a mantra to call the snake. And he said, snake, <laughs> what are you doing? You don't need to terrorize these people. 
you can get enough food by, you know, eating small rodents and things like that. You know, if the people come by, you just hide. And the snake said, well, what can I do? It's my nature. I can't help biting people, you know. And he said, this wise man said, look, I'll give you a mantra. And, in, and this will protect you. And in turn, you have to promise you won't bite any people anymore, okay? So the snake agreed and gave him the mantra and went to him. So then some time later, the wise man was coming back through the same village. And people said, oh, thank you so much. We haven't seen the snake in a long time. You know, he's, he's really uh, let go of us now. And so we feel great. Thank you. So the wise man said, hmm, wonder what's going on. Went out into the field and called the snake. And the snake was like all beat up, beat up and <laughs> broken bones and stuff. And he asked the snake, what happened to you? The snake said, well, I stopped biting people. And I was just, you know, minding my own business. And the village boys, when they found out that I wasn't biting anybody anymore, they came after me with sticks and stones, and they broke my bones. Because <laughs> words could never hurt me. <laughs> so the wise man said, foolish snake, don't you know you, sometimes you have to defend yourself? The snake said, but you told me not to bite anybody. Yes, I told you not to bite. I didn't tell you not to hiss. So the moral of the story is, sometimes you have to growl a little bit, even if you're not going to bite. Huh? You have to let people know that they have displeased you and that you have to set some boundaries and uh, to uh, protect your peace of mind. And that's what I'm doing now. So don't blame me. Try to understand and try to participate in this channel in such a way as it forwards the discussion, moves the discussion in the direction towards complete self-realization because that's what this is all about. Aung Tatsa. Aung Shakti Aung.